Guten Morgen, everyone. Can we talk about house hunting shows? You know, these shows where people are looking for a new house and a new neighborhood or a new state or sometimes a new country, especially those where people are looking for a house in a new country. Do you watch these shows? I love to watch them, but they also annoy me. What does that say about me? Don't answer that. And I recently found something out about them that shocked me. We'll get to that in a second, but am I the only person who wants to scream at the screen when you see somebody like this? Hi, I'm Cheryl. When I was in college, I had a three hour layover at the Barcelona airport and I fell in love with the city. It's always been my dream to live there and now that I'm divorced, I can do it. I don't know anybody there and I don't have a visa or a job. I also don't speak Spanish, but it's always been my dream and I'm going for it now and my three kids are coming with. I'm looking for a house directly on the beach, but also in the city center. I want to be close to nightlife and shopping, but it needs to be quiet. Also, I love the Spanish style, but if there's anything in the house that doesn't remind me of America, I'm not going to like it. I would prefer to have four to five bedrooms with five to six baths spread out over three floors, but no stairs. My budget for the home is $95,000. And then when they go looking at houses, they're like, Wow, okay. Well, I'm seeing some books on the shelf over here and I think I've read those, so I don't know if this is gonna be the right fit for us. Or, wow, nice kitchen, backsplash, okay. Oh, but you know, the corner up there is white and I always dreamed I would have a blue kitchen, so it's gonna be a problem. Or, Oh, there's a playground down there for the kids. That'll be a nice place for them to play. It'll probably be kind of loud. That's gonna be a problem. But then in the next house, they say, there's really no place for the kids to play. So that's gonna be a problem. But just all together, so many times on these shows, the, the things that the people are looking for or the reasons that they say they don't want a certain house, they're just so bad. You know, like when they walk into a house and they're like, oh, you know, I really don't like the color of that sofa though. So the entire house, not gonna work. And I think, can't you buy a new couch? Do people really move into like three and four bedroom homes and keep every piece of furniture that's in there and bring nothing from their old house? No, seriously, do do people really do that? I don't know. And because of lockdown, I've had a lot of time to watch a lot of episodes. We have all had a lot of time. So I've seen quite a few of these shows now and I noticed a couple patterns and you know what I've realized? Should I tell you? They're fake. I know, I know. Don't freak out. It's hard to believe that something you see on television isn't real, even in quote unquote reality television. But I was getting so annoyed by these things that I did a little bit of research and I found out that usually the people on the show have already bought their house. They already know what house they're gonna be living in. The other two houses, just for the show. There's no chance that they will choose those other two houses. And in fact, I just read an article where people who were guests on the show looking for a new house, looking for a new house, that in the neighborhood where they had bought their house, that there were no adequate houses for filming. So the producers of the show made them ask their friends if they could use their houses. Can you imagine? So their friends had to like move around their furniture and super clean their houses to make it look like they were showable properties and then the guests on the show had to walk through their friends houses and pretend like they were interested in buying them i mean i have some good friends but if one of them asked me if they could do that here i would be like of course you can do it here all i'm gonna need is a professional cleaning crew and an entire month's rent but knowing that it's fake also explains why the people have these ridiculous reasons so often. You know what I mean? Like they have to come up with a reason to not want to live there even if they already know 
they're not gonna move in there. And now that you know that, the next time you watch one of these shows, you're gonna watch it through totally different eyes. Trust me, and when you do, come back to this video and write a comment on it again. Before you go, don't forget to press thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. Also, I joined the kids and I just started a TikTok. So if you wanna see me singing and dancing, look for The Musical Morgan on TikTok. It's like three days old. Be one of the first. Check it out and I hope to see you soon. but it's always been my dream to live there and I just know that it's a perfect time to start a new life there right now. And I just knew that someday it would be my dream to live there.